I think the club has a really good atmosphere and a really good environment of sort of trying to uh, make sure we all know it's a big community. So a lot of the girls coach younger teams, a lot of their um, you know, senior men will come watch our games, a lot of the girls will go watch their games. So there's sort of, um, yeah, you do feel like you're really part of a whole community and the club's really supporting us as a team. And yeah, definitely Dylan, he's a great coach and he plays for our senior men's team. So it's actually really good to have someone like that because it's quite valuable and he sees the game and understands it from our perspective. So the level of knowledge and professionalism is actually quite an asset to have and we're all really grateful for it actually. So uh, It's been really great. I've really enjoyed it so far. I spent last season playing in State League One so it's been a big adjustment having to pick up the pace and everything like that um, but it's been a really good challenge and I've really enjoyed getting in with all the girls, getting to know all the girls, and it's been really easy in that sense to just kind of slot into the team. Welcome here on Sandy Bay Media for another episode. I'm here with some of the players at Boondara Eagles over here in Melbourne, and we're going to have a quick chat with them about the season that's coming up and how preseason's going so far. So we've got Zoe Austin. Hi, thanks for having me. Awesome. Marie Patrikas. Hi. And Emily Hayden. Hello. Well, look, it's fantastic to have everyone on. Just before we get on, let's just have a little bit of a look at how long you've been at the season and what position you play. Start off with you, Zoe. Um, yeah, well, I've been at Burundara for the last three years now, or this will be my third year. Um, and I play sometimes centre back, sometimes midfield. Sort of depends on the day. Awesome. Uh, I've been at Burundara for two years now, and I play right back. Fantastic, Emily. And this is my first season with Burundara and similar to Zoe, we're kind of experimenting a little bit between being in the midfield more as a holding mid or mm-hmm. as a centre back as well. Brilliant. And, you know, as you said, this is your first season at the club. How's that gone so far? Uh, it's been really great. I've really enjoyed it so far. I spent last season playing in State League One, so it's been a big adjustment having to pick up the pace and everything like that. Um, but it's been a really good challenge and I've really enjoyed getting in with all the girls, getting to know all the girls. And it's been really easy in that sense to just kind of slot into the team. Oh, that's awesome. Here. And that's great to hear that, you know, it's just been a smooth transition. Um, as you were saying a little bit earlier, sometimes the girls forget that, you know, you, it's your first season. Uh, I hope so. <laughs> She's definitely settled in very well. And um, yes, is a very good addition to our team this year. So. So it kind of feels like she's been there for a very long time and, with, and also some of the other players that have come in this year. Definitely. Well, let's have a look at pre-season. You know, I th- think you all started only a couple months ago. So how's that been going yet, Maria? Uh, pre-season has been really good. We've been trying to play some practice games each and every week. And mm-hmm. now that we've got the cup game going along, um, that's really good for us as well. But we're a really tight-knit group and it's really good to see that everyone's bonding really well and we're really excited to see what we're going to achieve this season, I think. Yeah, no, you definitely set the bar last year in terms of how you were playing and in terms of the performance on the field. So hopefully we'll see that once again this year. Yeah. And Zoe, just speaking of pre-season, and let's have a look at the cup game last week. How do you think you girls went? Yeah, I think it was it was a good game for our first, obviously, our first competitive match that actually the result meant something. Um, so we needed to make sure we got the win there. Yeah. Um, and obviously, the the fir- after the first half, it was nil all, but we sort of felt like we were, um, I guess, getting used to those nerves of sort of playing in a real competitive match. But yeah. um, then the second half came and we sort of had settled into the game a bit better. And I think it was a really good performance from the team. Mm-hmm. Um, managed to get quite, a, quite get a few goals, and then um, yeah, it was definitely a good first uh, actual competitive match. Then looking to the rest of the cup games and the season in a couple of weeks. No, it's great to hear that. And as you said, the, sort of that second half, you sort of found your footing a little bit more, and going back to what last year where you left off. Yeah, definitely. And Emily, just looking at that game there, being you know as you mentioned, this was your first year coming up from the state league levels how did you go being in a VPL environment but also playing against a VPL opposition uh it was great it was a great um I think similar to what Zoe said it took us a little while to settle into the game I think playing against an opposition that they played against last year and were quite strong last year 
everyone was kind of going in anticipating what might happen, but I think it took till about the second half to actually settle in and start to play the way that we wanted to play, yeah. um, start to like implement some things we've been practising. So that started to feel a lot better and smoother. It was good to start seeing those things. That's great to hear that. So, Maria, would you say that second half was a lot more of the nerves just settling down and the players just sort of getting their um, composure together? Yeah, I think it was um, definitely everything we've been practising in training was implemented into that second half and we were calmer, we were more patient with going forward and, yeah, we were just comfortable with each other, playing next to one another, which was really good to see. And it was really enjoyable, actually. I really enjoyed the second half. So, yeah, it was nice. That's awesome to hear. And just looking at the club as a whole, so obviously, you know, you know, watching Burundara being one of the bigger female clubs that are always um, striving to do a lot more off the field. How has it gone in terms of off the field this season, uh, like with the new coaching? I mean, Dylan coming back for another season and things like that. Zoe? Um, yeah, I think the club has a really good atmosphere and a really good environment of sort of trying to uh, make sure we all know it's a big community. So a lot of the girls coach younger teams a lot of the um you know senior men will come watch our games a lot of the girls will go watch their games so there's sort of um yeah you do feel like you're really part of a whole community and the club's really supporting us as a team um and yeah obviously having Dylan again as our coach from last year that's been really good so far and um obviously he knows a lot of us quite well which is is always handy going into a new season but at the same time um yeah he's been able to bring all those new players in seamlessly as well awesome and maria uh yeah i agree with zoe and yeah definitely dylan he's a great coach and he plays for our senior men's team so it's actually really good to have someone like that because it's quite valuable and he sees the game and understands it from our perspective so the level of knowledge and professionalism is actually quite an asset to have and we're all really grateful for it actually so yeah. Yeah, no, I, I'm definitely, I definitely like the link between the men's and the women's, you know, you're, you're very much in the same boat when it comes to the equivalent respect the league in the men's and women's side. So it's awesome to see that you've got two very high competitive teams that are actually supporting each other and trying to help one another instead of sort definitely. of leaving the women sort of in the back and do their own stuff while the men yeah. are in the front. Makes a difference. So I'm yeah, we're, we're quite grateful for the support. And I'm sure they are too. So, That's right. And Emily, is that similar sort of things that you've felt, seen and felt yourself coming to the club? Yeah, definitely. I think there's such a good support network around the team, like with um, local gyms and the girls getting together for dinners and things like that. Mm-hmm. Um, and from Dylan as well, he's been really easy to kind of get to know and get feedback from but I also like that like he'll be when we're off the field he'll tell us exactly what we need to do but then once we're on playing it's kind of up to us he's not going to be yelling at us from the sideline he'll let us kind of do what we need to do Mm -hmm. and then come back afterwards and be like all right these are the things you need to sort out these are the things you need to fix um which I really value as a player I think being able to being given that autonomy Mm -hmm. to kind of figure it out when we're out on the park and then give them feedback afterwards Oh, that's great to hear that. And let's just look at the season that's coming up and sort of like the next cup game against uh, North Geelong this weekend. So just looking at that plus the season. So Zoe, how do we go? So how does the team improve from last year or how does it sort of recapture the same performance that you had last season? Yeah, it's a good question. I think obviously, like we've said, it's um, quite a, a core group from the team last year who stayed on this season, but then, we lost some players, but we've got some new people coming in, which has been, um, yeah, really valuable to our squad. So I think we are looking in a really strong position. Um, and, yeah, obviously we don't know what to expect with the other teams and how they've recruited in the offseason, how their training's going so far. Yep. But I guess we just have to keep working on all the things that we were focusing on last year and the things we've been doing in preseason. Um, and all we can control is how we play. So we just need to keep doing that and hopefully that'll show in the season and yeah, we'll have just as much, if not more success than last year. That's great. And Maria, just, just keeping on the topic of looking at the season that's coming up. So obviously, you know, we've had a bit of an opportunity to speak with different clubs and have a look at it. Everyone's sort of recruited quite heavily, some international players coming in. Do you think that's going to sort of have an effect on how the league goes this year? 
I think it's definitely going to have an effect because um, a lot of teams have recruited quite well, particularly on an international level. So it's going to be quite interesting and I think it's going to be a very competitive season, um, but it's exciting. So we'll have to see how it all pans out, I think. And, and that's what, I mean, at the end of the day, it's football. We want to see a bit of competition. We don't want just, you know, one or two teams taking it, having an easy ride. We want to see teams being pushed. Definitely. And Emily, what are your thoughts coming into this new league? Obviously, I know you mentioned that you're excited and you're settling in, but having a look at the season that's coming up, what's going through your head right about now? It sounds like there's been a lot of movement between teams, like these guys said, with players coming in from everywhere. So it sounds like the quality is going to be really high, but there's also a lot of unexpected coming with the games that we're going to face, Um, which isn't necessarily a bad thing because we can obviously only offer what we've got, which I think will be really strong. But, yeah, it sounds like it's going to be a really high quality season and league this year. No, that's awesome. And definitely, like I said, Maria, before, it looks like it's going to be a very exciting year. And we're really keen to be following Borondara Eagles throughout the year and having a chat as it goes on, as well as the other VPLW Cubs. Well, look, thank you for joining us and having a chat tonight. Good luck on the weekend and good luck for the seasons coming up. Thanks for having us, Rohit. Thank you.